to my channel. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is the cons of owning hermit crabs. Now, there are not all cons, and I have only had these guys for about maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks or so. Um, there will be a pro video of owning hermit crabs coming out soon, but I just wanted to do a short and sweet video of what I have found has been harder than I thought for hermit crabs so far. Alright, so the first thing, this is my weakness, is feeding them. Hermit crabs require no, a fresh diet, I would call it. Um, from research I've done, you should never feed your hermit crab food that they sell at the store because it doesn't have enough supplements for them. It doesn't have the right nutrients, I should say. And basically, you'll just be slowly killing your hermit crab by feeding them because it gives them enough food to like keep going but slowly die, something like that. So fresh food is best for hermit crabs. Now you may ask what this means. I may do a video on foods to feed hermit crabs later on in the future, going off a list that I have started to make and going off other sources. Um, now I am not an expert in the hermit crab field. I just started, I had hermit crabs a long time ago when I was younger and I did not care for them the right way. I did pretty much everything wrong. So now that I have been researching them, I realize how much there really is into caring for hermit crabs. So the first con was feeding them, since you have to feed fresh food. That means things like fruits, vegetables, grains. Like I said, there are specific things to feed them that you should and should not feed your hermit crabs. Um, so the problem with fresh fruit is it gets bad really easily, so it usually shrivels, shrivels, it shrivels up, shrivels up in about 24 hours, so you need to replace it continuously. So I try to replenish their food every evening because I believe hermit crabs are nocturnal. I might be wrong. They might just be awake whenever they feel like it. Um, but I generally feed them at night. And a lot of times I'm like, oh, I didn't feed them yet. I don't feel like going down and chopping up a bunch of fresh fruit or fresh vegetables. So that is probably, I would say, the hardest part for me is feeding them, keeping them with fresh fruit. And also, if you go on vacation, you will need to have someone either come over that you trust to feed your hermit crabs or take them to someone's house because they need, will need that fresh fruit. You can't let food mold in there that probably would not be good for them um another con I would probably say is they're confusing when I do research I feel like there's more and more and more and more stuff to know about them like I didn't know you had to keep them at a certain humidity I didn't know you should have a heater for them I didn't know those two things and some of those things can be very confusing to understand and I still need to do more research on that to get the right humidity and the right heat in that tank. Um, I still need to work on that. I would say the main con for me is the food. There's just so much to know about hermit crabs. I'm just like, I didn't know they were so hard. Um, the average, well, hermit crabs can live up to 30 years. And when I had hermit crabs, last they lived like a year two years I honestly don't remember we didn't have them that long I didn't have them that long oh but these guys another con is most hermit crabs maybe not most but a fair amount of hermit crabs come in painted shells and painted but painted shells are toxic to hermit crabs so you'll want to provide extra non painted shells for them so that well, that obviously costs money but you can't always get them to switch so that may be a con may not be a con because you need extra shells anyway um so that's just another thing to think about if you think about getting crabs um shells can maybe be expensive depending on where you buy them from i would just say 
if I summed the, all the clowns up that I can think of right now, it would be food. There's a lot more to them than you think, with like the heat and the humidity, humidity, and the fact that expenses, I guess you could say, the starter up costs a lot. That's if you have the tank and lid to it already. It still costs you a lot of money to get everything put together. And I'm not making this video to make you go away from hermit crabs. Hermit crabs can make great pets. I've been surprised with what these guys have done. They're great climbers. I didn't realize what good climbers hermit crabs are. Um, there's good things to hermit crabs as well, which I, as I said before, I will be doing a pro pros about hermit crabs. So, yeah, those are the things I can think of right now. If I think of any more, there will be a part two. So we'll see what happens. I have some other videos on my list that are coming up for Vlogmas. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't find it helpful, that's okay. You can give it a thumbs down. Input is good. Um, feel free to leave comments in the in the description. <laughs> leave comments down below. Um, I enjoy reading your guys' comments. If you have had hermit crabs before, maybe put down some tips that you have learned throughout the years. Or if you're just researching, maybe put down some things that surprise you. Just, you know, help everyone grow and learn about hermit crabs and the right way to take care of them. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye!